I'm Sid Organist here, and welcome to another episode of New in Town. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Last episode, we drove the tyrant out of the nether, and we have achieved a little bit more security in our world. The threat from the tyrant is not over for sure, but we are getting closer to finally ridding all of the realms of this world from that monster. So today what I want to do is spend some time back here in the overworld. We are very close to um, finishing off the town with every um, functional non-castle structure. We only have five to go, and I really want to try to get all of those done. I don't know if we're going to get all of them because I think there's an item we're still missing from the nether. But we will do what we can with that. So... I am excited. Now, the early, was in this world a little bit earlier, and the town planner had some sparkles all around him. And that's because he has a new book, an end portal recipe. So let's take a look and see what that is real quick. So if I offer a feather for this, what do we have here? So end portal. A housing structure for completing an end portal to stop the tyrant's invasion. Okay, so it looks like we will have a way to get to um, the um, get to the end a little bit faster. Uh, I thought we were going to have to go and look for the stronghold, but apparently we can just build an end portal right here in town. So we might we might do that today. Um, I'm not quite ready to move on to that portion of this challenge, so we'll just kind of have to see how things go, right, Mr. Cleric? Right. All right, where is, there we go, settlement site recipes. So what do we need? We need, I believe we have all of this. We need a chicken coop. We need a potion hut. We need a railway station, a regional outpost. And the Grand Cathedral. And this is the thing that there's a special item that we do not have yet. So we'll have to look into that. But we can get started with some of these. So let's start with the chicken coop. What do we need? A couple of eggs, some wood, and a hopper. All right, let me go gather those things and then we'll build that. So I think we should build this over here in the farming area. Let's see. So we've got our farms here. We've got our barnyard there. Um, and we've got our butchery here. I think let's build it right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and harvest this wheat out of here because I don't want to waste the resources. But we really don't need this um, plot anymore with what I can get from the... Um, the farmland, so we are good to go there, but don't want to waste resources. And there we go. All right, there is our chicken coop, and we should get, oh, we already have a lot of eggs from that, which is fantastic. And then if we pop up here, we have some chickens wandering around. And I'm guessing that, oh, there, and there's chicken out there. Yep, and hoppers underneath to grab all of their eggs. Excellent. All right. Next up, let's do, you know what, let's do this regional outpost. Um, I mean, we are already getting all of the resources from this area, but we need all of the buildings. So let's see, a campfire, a chest, some wool, a little bit of stone, and a water bucket. Okay. So, for our regional outpost, I'm trying to decide where the best spot for that would be. And we're doing our resources over here. Our lumber mill and our mines and our drills. So let's maybe go... Let's go over here. And... I think this is going to intersect with some of this wood here. Oh, you know what? Honestly, I'm getting so much from the star dial that I don't think we need to worry about it. So, let's go ahead and get this done. Uh, what did I need? 
that. Building permit, water bucket. Eight. Oops, too many. And eight. Uh, Mr. Wandering Trader, you might want to look out. Alright. And here is our regional outpost with a wandering trader. Cool. So what do we trade with you? So we get gold, we can get eggs, oak saplings, eggs, and wheat seeds. Okay. Not too bad. And then we'll have to see what kind of local resources we get. Probably similar to that since we're out here in the um, thing. Hi. Do you have anything useful? No, you don't. Okay. And then we have this. I do I have a way into town now? I do. Okay, excellent. There we go. Good. Um, I have villagers, and villagers are idiots. So I think we're gonna go ahead and extinguish that just to be on the safe side. Good. Okay. Now I was thinking. So next we need we need a railway station. And what was the other thing? Oh, the potion hut. I was also thinking, though, that I want to do a little bit of planning for future things. And so um, I want to make a list of all of the different custom builds that I want to do that I think we need in town. And then do get some empty plots in place for all of those. So let me go do a little bit of brainstorming on that, and I'll bring you guys back in a second. So, I thought that I had more things that I wanted high, but this is what I'm going with for right now. A library, stables, and a forge. So, this plot behind me here, I'm actually going to earmark for the library. And then, over here, we're going to build a couple of other places. So, let's do over by the... Um, the barnyard is where I'm going to put the stables, so I'm going to tuck that right in here. And that is just simply that, and that, and then we'll plop a sign down. And then let's move our horses over here, because they are actually occupying the spot where I'm going to put the plot for the forge. So... If you two will be so kind. <gasps> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Hop in there. Are you okay? Okay, you can do down a couple of hearts. We'll fix that. Okay, we'll heal up our horse, and we'll also get a baby. One for you. One for you. And I can't see. There he is. Oh, he's so cute. Cool. All right. So then that is... Oh, we need to actually build the other plot. Right. I got distracted. So we're going to pop that right in here. That. And that. All right. And this will be... Our forge. Good. So as I've been thinking about all these buildings that I want to add, I really would like to be able to have some more librarians for the town. And we currently can have eight villagers, but I think it would be nice to up that a little bit. So I'd like to add another set of villager housing, and I think we're going to tuck it right in here. Where is the cleric going? Who knows? Checking to make sure that there are no villagers in the area... Okay, should be good to go. Pop that in there. And there we go. More villager housing. I will need to get some um, lecterns around here so that we can um, be getting librarians as they grow up. So next on the list is going to be our potion hut. And for this, I don't need too much. Um, the only thing I might not have are the blaze rods. So let me grab those, and we will build that in a second. I have gathered all of the necessary ingredients for our potion hut, and now we just need to figure out where to put it. 
So I am thinking I've had kind of all of my specialized buildings over here. So we have the Haunted Mansion, we have the Adventurer's Guild, and the Bard College here. And so I thought it would be kind of appropriate to put it over here. And I'm thinking that this would actually be a nice little setup to our castle which we're going to be building off over here. So I thought that this would be kind of nice to start like a new area. And then maybe we can do like a couple of aesthetic builds in front of the castle. So we put like a little bit of a buffer between the town and the castle. But we're going to go ahead and get this in here. And I should have everything that I need. And, oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh, no, it's so bad. I'm sorry. How many villagers did I just kill? Oh, I forgot to check. Oh, I went back and reviewed that footage. There were no villagers there. I have absolutely no idea how that one got over there. I hope I didn't kill anyone important. No, nothing bad happened here. No, nope, nope, nope. To come to did nothing. Yeah, it, it's fine. It's all good. Um, dude, I don't know if we can get back up. <laughs> I think we have to go the long way around. Um, let me fix that. It's also almost nighttime. Oh, I feel horrible about that. I totally forgot to check. I didn't think there'd be anyone over there, but apparently there was. So, yeah. Uh, let's get rid of these leaves here. Okay, sleeping time. I really hope that wasn't my mending villager. <laughs> oh, Mr. Librarian. There's the cleric. Oh, knowing my luck, it totally was the librarian. <laughs> Where? Don't wander off the edge. Anyway, okay. So, um, potion hut here. And we have our apothecary. So for Netherward, we can get some gold. Not a great trade there, but for gold, we can get gas tier, we can get fermented spider eye, blaze powder, magma cream, and glass bottle. So essentially everything we could possibly need to make potions. Excellent. All right. Good. So I mentioned those aesthetic builds just a minute ago, and there's something that I've actually been wanting to put in place for a while. I've talked about it before, but I think now would be a good time to do it. So we have this area that's kind of floating here, and what I want to do is I want to build a bridge across here. So if we pop into our advancements, uh, here it is. We have these um, roads. So a dirt road, a stone brick road, a bridge and a dirt road. For the bridge, we're going to need oak fence and oak log. So it looks like, um, looks like I'm going to need eight fences and four logs. So let's go craft those up really quickly. Do I have any? I don't have anything on me. So we'll just come grab some of our logs out of here. And then, let's do, we'll just do a stack of that. I don't know how much I actually need. What did I say I needed? Eight? I think was what I needed. Okay. So then, I think we'll go ahead and build it here. And then we'll kind of build up the landscape around that. So I think that was two, one, and one. And then I think it was the same with the logs. There it is. Cool. So now we have a nice little bridge that connects everything. Now, one of the things I discovered about this was it only goes to a certain height. So what we're going to actually have to do is come down here and fill it in so that it's actually being uh, supported off the ground. Whoops. Don't know how that must have placed it on the side of the grass there. So let's go ahead and get that in as well. And then I want to remove this. Now there's a piece of bedrock in here um, that is kind of part of how the structures get generated. Um, 
but as this is an aesthetic build, I'm not too worried about messing anything up by removing that. So, we will simply pop into creative and get rid of it. And then we'll pop back to survival. So there we go. So now we have a nice little bridge connecting things, and I can't get out of this hole. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use any of the the actual roads that come with this pack. Um, I've played around with them a little bit in my testing world, and they're really just ex wide expanses of the various block. But I thought the bridge looked really nice um, and kind of cool to add. We're going to go ahead and break this site planner, because obviously we can't build anything here now. And then I'm not going to fill this in, so we're going to go ahead and break these site planners as well, and apparently I was storing things in there. Okay. And there we go. Cool. So yeah, so I'll need to do a little bit of landscaping around there to um, just kind of make that look a little bit nicer, hide some of the cobblestone there. We could actually probably take some of the cobblestone away and replace it with dirt. I want to make this a little bit wider so that, um, you know, there's actually a path to walk on here. But I'll take care of that a little bit later. So as far as our building goes, it looks like we only have two left, and that should be the cathedral and the railway station. So let's do the railway station, because I don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the cathedral today, because there's something we need to get in the nether for that. At least I believe that's the case, but we're going to tackle that in a minute. So what I want to do is the railway, and it's going to be a matter of figuring out where we want to put this. So let's actually get a little bit of a view from up in the sky here. So here is our town. And it's gotten quite large. Um, so as far as finishing this particular town off, the castle's going to go over here. And then I've been thinking about other places that I would like to develop smaller towns where we can get some regional resources. There are mountains out that way. We have a dark oak forest out that way. And we have our desert over there. And then there's a village over there. What I'm kind of thinking is I kind of... Eventually we're going to wall off this entire town. And so I'm thinking that the gate is probably going to be here and it's going to open off that way. So it's just a matter of where we want to put the rail station. And we'll have multiple... Uh, we'll, have, we'll have the ability to have three different um, tracks coming off of the station. And I guess we could always do one on either side if we wanted to. I, I know, I think I have three places for certain that I want to expand to, but we might do more than that. So I kind of have to think. I, I feel like I want to go from over here. I think maybe off of this um, regional outpost, I think that's probably a good place to build it. So we're going to go ahead. I think let's go ahead and build it off this way, and then we'll have the ability to go out from there. Right. I have cleared out this area here and gotten all the resources we need. So we need some redstone, some iron... I am forgetting things. What am I forgetting? Let's see here. Lanterns! I'm forgetting lanterns. Okay. And there we go. Here is our railway station. We can come in here. Railway conductor. And this is where we will be able to go out to all of our other settlements. As you can see, we've got three sets of track here. And then, I don't know where these paintings are supposed to go. That one can go there. And, ooh, that's big. Uh, I don't want one that big. That That's better. Okay. So, let's see. We can buy the railway recipes. We can buy carts. And, ooh, that's a really, that's a lot of rails for not too much there. Um, let's actually take a look at this real quick. 
we might build we might build one set of rails in this episode but i need to go buy a book so let's just grab a feather out of here I'm starting to run low on feathers <laughs> Hello, good sir. I will take a Railway Recipes book. Use this book as guidance for building railway extensions. Place the requisite items in the rail planners at the ends of the station rails, and I'll build the appropriate extension. So, a station, straight rail, left rail, right rail, and a railway turntable. So we can actually split off into several different things if we wanted to. So, what does this require? So, a little bit of wood, a little bit of stone and redstone, and some iron. Let's, just for fun, let's actually make one of these. Um, and see what it looks like. So, just for fun to get things started, we'll build a straight rail in each direction. So, we need that. 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 And then there we go. So starting one off that way. Ooh. Um. Let me grab these saplings. I don't have any room. How do I have leaves? No idea. All right. But we've got that. And then no way to get up. And a railway going off that way. And one going off that way. So we will be able to build these out. We'll have to figure out exactly what we want to do as far as the floating factor. But we'll deal with that sometime in the future. So I have absolutely no idea how long this episode is. Um, and whether or not we want to try to get anything else done. So... Give me a minute to go and just kind of work through everything we've done in this episode, and then I will bring you guys back in a little bit. It turns out that the final ingredient we need for the Grand Cathedral is, in fact, in the Nether. It's just not what I originally thought that it was. However, it's something that we are definitely going to have to seek out to be able to get and it's going to be a little bit of a challenge not only to f to to find the structure but also to defeat the guardian of the item that we need so i think we're going to save that for a future episode we got so close to um getting all of our functional non-castle structures but it's just going to have to wait for another day so i think that is going to do it for this episode if you guys enjoyed please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends if you haven't already i would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts be sure to follow me on social media thanks for watching see you real soon